I can't believe Quagmire and that girl had sex. Which is hugging someone really hard with your legs. Nope. Well, you'll tell me if I get it, though, right? Yeah, I'll tell you if you get it. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Now, Mr. Griffin, I understand you're here to speak on Mr. Quagmire's behalf. That's right, Your Honor. And as we know, according to Game of Thrones, if the girl has had her blood, she is good to go. Has the girl had her blood? Answer the question. Mr. Griffin, she was underage. Yes, however, Mr. Quagmire was born on February 29th. Ergo, he's only 12. Ergo, the girl raped him. Argo, Ben Affleck. Mr. Griffin, do you have any evidence that is not based on film or television? I don't know. Why don't you ask all these letters to Santa Claus? Something's going on. We haven't gotten mail in a week. I, I haven't gotten mail in a week. Nobody writes you. Officer Swanson, I'll remind you that you are under oath. Now, please tell us what Mr. Quagmire said he did with the girl. <sighs> he, uh, said he gave her a frosty gym. And can you please explain to the courtroom what a frosty gym is? Uh... Sir, you're under oath. Well, it's when you urinate in a condom and tie it off, freeze it, and then the woman, um, pretends it's a man. Thank you. He's a good guy! Mr. Brown, can you please state your occupation for the court? Oh, come on, man. You didn't ask anyone else to do that. Why am I on trial? He's the one that mushed himself on a child. When are we gonna see this chick? Okay, enough. No more help. I'm taking this Bible. You wanna know what kind of person Glenn Quagmire is? You wanna know what made me the person I am? Then put me on the stand. Lois, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? Okay, but only with the sound off. Fine, I'll just do it with my mouth. <laughs> Please, go ahead, Mr. Quagmire. Look, I know everyone's sitting out there judging me today, but before you do, please know I had it pretty rough growing up. My dad was a military man, so he, he wasn't around much. And my mom? Well, let's just say she was a little promiscuous. In fact, I think my problem started the day I was born. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back so I can push him out again? I was born nine times that day, and things never got easier. The only way I learned my ABCs was by learning the names of all the guys my mom slept with. Art, Bob, Chet, Don, Ed, Frank, Gus, Hal, Irv, John, Ken, Lou, Matt, Ned, Oxpat, Quint, Ron, Sam, Tom, Ulf, Vic, Walter, Xavier, Yaz, and Zeke. Those are just some of the guys there are lots of other guys. It was awful. I didn't even get to go to my high school prom, but my mom did. Hey, is Crystal ready? Oh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, listen, have my mom home by midnight, okay? How about I plow her in the limo and have her home in 20 minutes? Oh, come on, Ronnie. She bought the dress. So you see, Your Honor, thanks to my mom, I never had a chance to be like everyone else. My misguided carnal instincts are the result of being raised by a sexual deviant. All I'm asking is that you give me the break that my childhood never did. Dairy Queen closes in 10 minutes. Mr. Quagmire, your story is a sad one, but that doesn't excuse your actions. I have no choice but to sentence you to 20 years in prison. <gasps> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Mom? Crystal! Ha! <laughs> She's enjoyed many men. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around.